What's going on everybody? This is going to be a really impromptu late night stream and uh, I try to fix some issues that I had earlier. But it's odd I've been streaming like this for a while but I think I might know what the issue is but anyway um, I was playing PS3 earlier. Uh, I've still got to work on that. There's some type of offset that I'm missing here. I just fell asleep this the weekend so I'm off. And I just found out there was DLC for Cotton Reboot. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go through it. So, yeah, this is... Never really went through my Switch before I get into it. You know, this is pretty much... We got to get into that. I know a lot of people don't like this, but it is what it is. And this is just what we have on the Switch. We have more. We just don't... We haven't really opened up all the games... I guess, you know, but we're going to get into it today, so we got Cotton on deck, and we're going to run it, let's go. So they got this new DLC where you could play with uh, Apley, um, basically if you ever played like Cotton Boomerang, I think she's in Cotton 2. But I know she's definitely in Cotton Boomerang along with the uh, her other sprite, uh, which is called Needle. So here we go. Success. This is loud up in these headphones. <laughs> they still didn't. They gave us English options in the in the mini menu, but not in the. Uh, not in the regular menu itself. So you can see here, you can play with Needle, Apple, Silk, or Cotton. But we're gonna play with Apple. Too bad you can't use it in the X68000 version. Take a long time to load from the cartridge. <laughs> Sound like what she's saying. But she's actually fun to use. Just don't tell you. She is. You'll see in a minute. And I think they got this new mechanic if you shoot off of the crystals, you actually uh, get extra firepower. I don't remember that happening in the old update. And I'm really. Ah, uh, come on in. Now, of course, you know they're going to be bringing this out with Guardian Force, Cotton 2, and Boomerang. Like success. So, I, I success Saturn. Or something. I already have my money ready to go for that, so you know that's a definite go. Cause Guardian Force over the years has really gone up in value, and I want that. Like when I had my Sega Saturn, or my second Sega Saturn, my first Sega Saturn was stolen. When I had my second Sega Saturn, I had a Japanese unit, I had a gray unit. And it did pretty good. Like some people said, oh, you should have got the white one. I was able to get a fully boxed Sega Saturn for like $80. So from Japan, this is back in like 2000. Around 2000, 2001. When I first moved back to, when I first moved to Raleigh. So quick story about what happened. Basically, I had a Sega Saturn. And uh, yeah, I know I wasn't paying attention to that to get my headphones straight. And I'm probably gonna start with it. But I had a Sega Saturn, a PlayStation, and I had a uh, Asian Dreamcast. So I was like one of those, like, I was an adult, not a kid, or anything. So I was an adult. And uh, pretty much, let me start over because uh, 
This is what I was talking about. Inside the game menu is English, but watch. Okay, hold on. Let me go back. Let me get out of here real quick. It's weird. Like, they, they kind of threw it in there. And then they just went, okay, well, we'll just leave it like that. I mean, that's fine and everything, but to be honest with you, I know why. I mean, it's because they have an English release. But anyway, let me get back to my story. Yeah, it's not story, it's true story. <laughs> so, a long time ago in 1996, 97, I had a friend of mine, and he had a pretty decent paying job. I think it's making like 50000 a year, so that's pretty good for 96 money. 96, 96, yeah. And he was into importing, and he had a Sega Saturn, and he had all, like, King of Fighters was not out in uh, America yet. I don't think so. So, like, when we were playing King of Fighters in the arcade in 95, he had the uh, 95, 96, no, he had King of Fighters 95, he didn't have it yet. And that actually came with the ROM card. Now, I remember playing it on PlayStation, but it was glitchy. And I remember going over to his house, and he was like, they only have this version in Japan, and he put the ROM card in. And we would just go and play all the games over there, and we learned about the imports. And he mostly played, like, fighting games, you know, and stuff like that. And we had an arcade downtown Charleston that had, like, all of the, you know, Neo Geo, you know, like, Samurai Shootout 2, 3, 94, King of Fighters 95. So, like, going to his house and getting that close to arcade experience with Saturn, you know, made me, like, wow, when I get my own money, I'm gonna get Saturn. Now, mind you, in 96, I was 23 years old, and I didn't have a very... I didn't really have a job. I think I had, like... It was, it was a tough time for a brother when I was in my early 20s. Um, it wasn't until I got really kind of, like, in my mid-20s that, you know, I realized what I needed to do to, you know, have... You know, because you got to make money, you know, and, and it happens. So, uh, I didn't get a Sega Saturn until 99. When I got my Sega Saturn, uh, the first thing that I got was, I, missed, I know, I just left some stuff off the table. The first thing I got was the original Sega Saturn, Model 2, from a pawn shop called Money Man Pawn Shop down in Charleston. And uh, I think I bought a couple of games out of the store, too, that they had in... Yeah, that was pretty cool and everything. And then, uh, my first import, my first import was supposed to be real about collection, but apparently they only sent, uh, real, real about Fatal Fury Special. And that was when Byright was a thing. If, you, if you're an old importer, you know who Byright is. And so, you know, in Byright, they, they handled the mistake. They gave me credit towards uh, another game that I bought. And I got that in Radiant Silver. Um, I had Darius Guiding, I found uh, Galactic Attack, which is rare. Like, all these games are rare, man. Imagine that. And then I bought a, a we had a PlayStation because my cousin that I was living with, he had, a, he had the PlayStation. So, you know, we would compare games. Like, I had finally got the Japanese version of Thunder Force 5. And, Compared to the Ameri uh, to the PlayStation version, you know, Vampire Savior, uh, Street Fighter Zero Three, which I actually gave to a friend. I regret that, and uh, a few other games. You know, I had a lot of shumps. I got Dude on Patchy. I got um, had Last Blade for the PS One. It's not that great, but it was the only way you could play Last Blade on the console unless you got a Neo Geo. And I had all these games, and then um. Right around the time when the Dreamcast was coming out in uh, Japan, one of the guys uh, used to be a manager of EV, Electronic Boutique, and he was like, look, I'm getting ready to buy the PS, uh, he was getting ready to buy the PS, um, PS2 when it came out. The PS2 hadn't come out yet, but he was going to get a Japanese PS2, because like I said, I, I don't know if y'all remember like, Electronic Boutique, they also sold Japanese imports. So we went in there and he was like, look, I'll sell you my Dreamcast. I got an Asian Dreamcast that doesn't have the motor. Which makes sense, because at the time, hot, dialing up to Japan would just be a nightmare. So I was like, cool. So I went ahead and, you know, bought his Dreamcast and 
for two hundred and seventy-five dollars, you sell me the Dreamcast uh, and two controllers, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Um, uh, with something else in there, Giga Wing, the import version, and a few other imports. And I remember, and everybody was freaking out because this is right before the release of the Dreamcast in America. It was like July of '99, something like that. So you know, we're just like, freaking out. Everybody's in my house. Man. I had, you know, I thought I had some decent friends and you know, family, and. Uh, right as my little nephew, I had just left his funeral in 2000. Kind of just got back from actually being in Raleigh for a few days because we was actually getting ready to move out here with some friends. You know, we were just checking out the sites. And I had happened to take my Dreamcast with me to a friend's house uh, so we could play some imports at the time. It was a way to play imports on American Dreamcast. And uh, came back. Somebody broke in my house. And he took all my Saturn, took my stereo. You know, remember back in the days they had like shelf stereos and took that. It's that little laughing dog. Look right there, that little laughing dog. I love that dog. And he took all my stuff, man. And it really hurt me because like I love living in my little apartment when I was in my 20s. It's my own apartment. You know, when you have your first apartment, it's, it's awesome, you know. And just the fact that that happened, you know, like really pissed me off, man. It really makes me like I don't like people in my house to this day. You know what I'm saying? Like unless you really, really, really a, a, a person I know is not gonna rob me too much, or you know, I just don't like people in my house, man. Cause I don't know if you gonna fight and rob me, man. Cause after that, man, I guess this day I know who did it, but you know, like I just have to say, like in my family, you know, they were kind of like, you know, we'll take care of it, so I had to let it go. So, yeah, it kind of pissed me off to this day because, like, I had a lot of, I had to rebuy a lot of stuff. Perfect example, I bought Radiant Silver Gun in 99. That game was $54. In 2001, that game had already tripled in value. So that's how I got my Japanese Saturn because I got one in the year 2000 from uh, eBay. And um, I got the Gray Model 1. Now, a lot of people say, like, the Gray Model 1 would cause issues, but I never had any issues with the Gray Model 1. I mean, that, it ran fine. I know the, I know a lot of people had issues with the uh, Sega Saturn Model 1. They are almost the same. There's some differences here and there. You know, the only real issue I kind of had with my Saturn was the 4 Meg RAM card, you know, because there was, like, two versions of the card. And I wound up getting, uh, I wound up on my second Saturn getting the first version and I had to actually learn to find a second version of it because the first version had like a glitch, like playing like Street Fighter, uh, playing Street Fighter uh, Zero Three. The Saturn version of Street Fighter Zero Three is considered one of the best, but after a while you start to realize, you know, like, it, it was a little different in arcade, but it wasn't like arcade perfect. Like, you know, it had some flaws in there, but it was actually still better than the Dreamcast version. <laughs> Which is supposed to have been the better, more powerful system, so go figure, right? So yeah, that's the story of why I import and Like, I've been doing imports for so long. You know what I'm saying? Like when people like nowadays, you know, they talk about imports, man. You, you, you have no idea how how deep the rabbit hole went. And like over time, I did get rid of my Sega Saturn collection and duly noted because of the fact that nowadays, I think if you think about it, you can get better. Uh... See, a lot of misconception about Saturn being better than. Everything. Now, when it came to fighting games, yeah, because you had an extra one meg RAM slot for the SNK games after uh, King of Fighters 95, because I used the wrong card and all that stuff. But PlayStation ran some of the same games pretty good, like uh, Dawn Patchy, Do Dawn Patchy, Suki Green Tide. Plus, they had an extra ship on the uh, 
on the uh, PlayStation version of Soaky Green Time, which, you know, is only, I believe, for the PlayStation. Now, don't get me wrong, when it comes to things like Silk U and Anti, Green Anti, that is, you know, STV, and that's probably one of the few STV games that can be handled on the PlayStation, but for the most part, they can't handle STV games. Nah, those games, they still hard to emulate those games, man. Sega, and that's STV Sega Titan, so, you know. And that's what Cotton 2 and Boomerang are on. They're on the Sega, on the Titan you know, say a type of theme, if you want to call it that. And, uh, you know, it's going to be good to be able to play Cotton 2 and Boomerang, because those games are pricey. So you got to be careful with this hit. She like the, she, 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 she kind of, you got to pay attention to what she does. She coming out now. See, she got the little things coming out. Have fun. I admit, but the visuals of this is very nice, man. This, they did a good job on this, man. I don't care what nobody says. I don't care what nobody says. They really did a good job on this. Yeah. Like, I really enjoy playing this game. I enjoy dying on this game. <laughs> yeah, this game is fun. I notice how they let you keep your, uh... Kind of let you keep your power up here. Normally, you kind of drop down a little bit. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna play on. All right, tea time. I ain't getting no no miss bonus still. We'll probably play a little bit of other stuff tonight, and then I'm gonna call it a night. Well, early morning, I guess. You can say this is like a little impromptu stream. Because I promised to stream last week, and I didn't, because I was working on my PS3, and I'm gonna stream a little bit more of that tomorrow, seeing if I can get that up to date. Oh my god! Feels terrible. The only thing about this game, it does get kind of like I don't know. I feel like when I had Cotton Two, because I didn't, I didn't have Cotton One. I had Cotton Two. Um, I don't know. I like, I always would always go back to it. This I don't go back to as much because I beat it a couple of times. But I really haven't beaten it with the DLC yet, so we'll see. It is a diff they did a lot more just DLC than what they said. I mean, I don't know what it is, but maybe it's just because it's new as Apple. But they made some. They made some definitely the improvements. I can even miss my chain. I do like the fact that she has the weapons that shoot like this because playing with cotton is kind of hard to get those to those guys like that. It's almost like you're missing out on, you know, points and things. Or, you know, getting attacked because they shoot behind you. And it's kind of, Athlete's kind of broken if you really want to admit it because the first time I tried it out, I got a lot farther than I am now. That's just I'm not really concentrating on it. I mean, she, she, she can go, you know. I mean, this is kind of this, 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 this is just staying here, so. I don't know what else I'm going to play. I might play like very hard to or something. I hate this monster. I'm 
too much. I don't be using my bombs. You know how you play a game when you're trying to save your bombs and stuff? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all learn that when, when, in them arcade games, man. Look, well, you can hold on to them bombs. You know. Trying to play because you only got like one token or something. <laughs> Facts! <laughs> Come on now. All she does is light people up, man. This is crazy, like. I'm like, look, man, you kind of coming all over this time. Hold up, man. Dang. I am beating my high score just playing this box. score. That'd be nice. comes out with Guardian of Force. Now Guardian of Force, a lot of people say it's not that great a game. I beg to differ. It's actually one of the best tank shooters. It is. It is. It's a challenge. I never beat. It only gives like, I think the uh, actual Saturn version only gave like nine continues. Man, that game was brutal, man. I mean, really brutal. You had like, I think I got to close to the end but it took a lot of practice, man. Like, like it took a lot of practice, cause oh, I keep forgetting the Cause off the street, man. Ah, that was like one of the toughest jumps I ever played. Man. And like, no, there was no cheat codes for me. So if you had like an action pro replay, there were none. <laughs> I'm dying up here too much. You just need to concentrate. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna like, man, you're gonna go through a whole bunch of continues, man. I'm playing. I suck. I don't have, I don't have time to sit and practice to make it look good for you guys. I like you guys, there's only like one or two people that join me on this stream. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I just go keep it a buck. <laughs> Alright, it's hard breaking the algorithm. I need help. I need help from support. I need help. Yeah. Okay, my stream quality is pretty good. Cool. We'll see if I play it. If my voice came out any good on this. Hmm. You know, so I think people just be mad sometimes and they be like. Hmm. But I ain't got nobody to blame for my stuff. I need to do this because I want to have fun or whatever. So, you know, let's have some fun. Kind of always like a dream of mine, you know what I'm saying? You know, maybe when the pandemic's over, I can get back with friends and play games. You know, till then. Oh, come on, man. How you just come out the gate swinging on me like that? We want to beat the game with Apple, so. Yeah, 
guys, we gotta pay attention. We got these monsters that leap at you, man. So you gotta dodge that. And then as soon as you dodge that, you're gonna be like... I need to learn a pattern on this game, man. So he leaps right there. You gotta slide under him. Okay. I get it. I need more of that bomb. Oh my god, nice. Two of them things at me, man. I can have it. Ah. Why won't you die? Oh, now he just made the pain in the butt. Get ready to leave. Now, at least they'll, you know, show you in colors, like how, you know, much damage you're doing. Only five thousand on cotton too and stuff. Mm -hmm. But she is good. That might beat my score. <laughs> I want to know if she has an ending too. stage for you to get Oh, them little minotaurs, they look like pigs, man. <laughs> like little pigs. Ah, I'm messing up the pattern. I already beat my score. I should be able to get more. I just need to remember 
certain aspects of the game that, you know, have those, like, elitists who, like, I'm not playing the game, right? Let's play the game. If you enjoy the visuals, jumps are weird, man. Like, back in the day, it's not like how it you just either had to know how to play it or you didn't know how to play it. I mean, there's, like, mechanics and, you know, things you gotta remember and stuff like that. You know, if you're playing, like, uh, a cave jump, and, you know, timing and when you hit the bomb and being in this corner. I mean, don't get me wrong, bullet hell is bullet hell. You know what I'm saying? I just think, like, sometimes, you know, people take it too far for the people that don't really get into that. Like, I'd have probably, if I sat home and practiced, you know, I could probably get it, but, man, it's... You got family, you got a woman? <laughs> you got a woman? You got a You got a woman? You got a You know what I'm saying? So no, I don't know about all that. But I mean, like, you know, you just want to You it up and go and just look at the visuals. I love the bullet hell shumps. Like, cave shumps look really good. Like, like, Yushinyama, Yushinyama, and Yushinyama Futari, I mean, it's going to be beautiful, man. How can you not want to look at him? Oh, look at, uh... I swear that dragon looked like, um... Uh, uh, that thing from, uh, Pokemon. Charizard. Oh, you're just messing up my points. So those men worth 50,000 is nothing in this game. Final boss, y'all. Count. She's a beast. You know she's gonna be a beast. High score is only two million from beating the game. And that's kind of trash. <laughs> you can get some pretty high score. I don't know the scoring mechanics on Cotton, so don't, don't let that me. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I do. I do not. I'd be lying if I said I do. Happily really has done a lot more damage than Cotton is doing. You know, because fighting Bull right now, I'm just like killing it. Oh, at least I got three me. I'll take that. I wonder if they give her an ending. Oh, wait. They did something else. Oh. A lot to say. Well, what they do? Let's see what she ending is. All right, I'll be right back, y'all.
Publisher the English version. Yeah, because this game was in English and originally. You know, dirt bags. Not even seen any more of that. Yeah, there's really nothing else to unlock because everything just kind of, you know. Unless they got more stuff you want to lock after you beat it with her. But, but the cool thing about it, this was free DLC. I, you didn't have to spend any money. None of that. You know, I get them boy credit. You know, where they would be like, oh, pay $20. You play with Apple, you need them. Nah, you can do that. And I think that's it. I don't think you get anything else. That's it. Because if you beat the game with Cotton, you got Silk. You, need, you know, the DLC gives you two more characters. So, you know. Like I said, there's no English in the game on the Japanese uh, version, so just stop saying it is. It's not. So you have to go through a whole bunch and put it back to take the update off. It. And it's not worth it, man. I mean, you don't need it, you know. I mean, and, and you can kind of see everything from here. It's just the in-game text and the difficulty. is really weird what they did, so. You know, it is what it is, I guess. You know. that puts it back to default or something then they have this part I guess you could say it's kind of like caravan shooting so to speak you kind of you know you got like so many minutes it's kind of like five two or five minutes if you ever played like the shumps on uh you know basically it's caravan it's basically like you know competition type thing so if you ever played uh, Turbo Graphics or uh, you know PC Engine, you should know most of their shumps had a caravan mode. Like no other system had a caravan mode. Just come to think about it, no other system, no uh, you know if they did, if I'm wrong, who's me wrong, uh, shump masters. But I mean, as I recall, I don't think they ever had any other system had. It. It always, uh, Graphics and like, because the first time I remember they had the little two to five minute moves that you play, like, uh, um, you know, Superstar Soldiers, for example. Soldier Blade, no, not Soldier Blade, but Soldier Blade has a hit, uh, its own caravan, like, rare caravan if you ever, uh, played it. Uh, yeah, it does. In fact, on the, uh, PC engine, like I might do some ret super retro. What's that? M I don't know what that means. Uh, do some super retro. Uh, I guess that means minute. Uh, like retro uh, gaming. You know, I might go back and see if I fix the PS3 issue. But if not, you know, we'll just carry on. So and I guess I'll try to see how many games we need. I was trying not to die, man. <laughs> oh my god, I died. I should have been pushing some more buttons. <laughs> I never played, really sat down and played this game, so. This first time I ever I'm up. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty good. I mm, don't get really anything out of that anyway, so I guess you just ranking, I guess. Um, okay, I guess they 
they show you all the different people who scored and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, the X68000 version is like the bomb. It's like better than arcade. A lot of people, uh, Shump Junkie did a uh, really good uh, breakdown. Cotton Man. And yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool that you can do that. Alright, so enough cotton. I'm done with cotton for the day. Get out of this. I'm ready to go. Um, but no, no, I'm not saying that to be mean. I just, you know, just want to... Heck, I get out of here, man. Alright. I'm really ready to go. <laughs> it won't let me out. Okay, I, I, I did that. And then press the X button. Okay, so... What do you do when you're done? Like, what if I don't want to look at this anymore? Golly. I guess that's how I get out, dude. Alright. Alright. So we're going to get out of that real quick. And I haven't really streamed Darius yet. Um, I don't know. I might do a stream on that, but... But I really haven't played it. Like, I really need to practice on that. So I might hold off on that. And make that its own stream, maybe. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't have anybody that's in the chat at this time, so. Uh, let me hit the X button. Close the software. What else can we play? This is the jam. Well, let's take collection, man. I really am uh, just amazed by that game. You know, just amazed, man. This is is pretty good. It it really is. Like, you have no idea how good it is. Like, it really, it really, it really is good. Like, oh my God, it's good. Like, it, like you would think that because it's the 8-bit versions or whatever that oh you know nobody would want to play that oh I gotta fix the uh I got I had this on uh, Tate mode because I was playing a modern in Tate mode okay you gotta fix it back it does look good in Tate mode by the way but unfortunately we are not in Tate mode okay There we go. Eh, scan lines. Eh. Let's stay with some scan lines. What the heck? This is actually a cool game too. Found out about this just off the cuff. It's not like some super deep shooter. You just gotta really know what you're doing. Those look pretty good in scan lines. Like, this is a game that, if it was, like, in the arcades or something, you would probably play this. It's simple, it's not, oh, I need to do this and that, I just need to do everything on the screen like you used to do back in the day. So you just gotta miss some mechanic, you know, that's all. You know? Kinda reminds me, like, the mid to late 80s chunks, you know, that style of game play. You know? This is pretty good. This is a pretty good shoot. Uh, missile dancer. Like, I would tell people, man, let me pay attention, man. Hold on. I need to pay attention, man. Eh, it's alright. I'll take the screen. I don't really care for it. Uh, I pay attention, man. I don't pay attention. And even it has a caravan mobile, too. Y'all see my little high score? I had 379,000 now. Yeah. I did better. I'm trying to learn how to combo on this game because that's how you really boost your score. So I've learned how to shoot these little mid mini bosses. I 
definitely gotta get these like uh, those gems. I don't know who makes this game. They got a pretty good, you know. I don't know what other system this is on. You know. The Switch is like Switch and PS4, man, are like shunk. You know, like retro arcade is really coming to those systems. If y'all don't think so, I don't hear nobody really talking about, oh, I'm playing shunks on the Xbox. Like, now 360 is a whole different story. I mean, the cave, the cave uh, <laughs> mantra is on there. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, the new, like, Ketsui, you know, you got Death Tiny or Destiny. Death Tiny. <laughs> But I mean, like, they still don't have that arranged mode that the Saturn, I mean, the 360 version had. You know. Then now that there's gonna be, like, Death Smiles coming to, you know, the Switch and everything, you know, that's that's really gonna kind of, like, hopefully, the three people who have a 360, because some people don't really care for Nintendo, because, you know, it's like, oh, their systems aren't as powerful as the, 3S, the PS4, and basically everybody's saying the Switch more powerful than a PS3 or something like that, but now you gotta get I beg the difference on that, but, you know, a lot of the cave shops are coming to, uh, you know, like, just coming to the PS4 and coming to the Switch are, like, amazing, because, I mean, if cave collection, that's still, like, a thousand dollars or something like that? I kid you not, it's like $700. And like, when those games were out, like when I used to have, well I still have them, but when I first got my 360, and I wanted to really play imports, because the first time the 360 came out, in order for you to play imports, you had to be the and you couldn't. The only mod that you could do was the DVD mod. And that thing was a pain in the ass, man. I ain't nobody trying to do all this shit. There's a lot to do. You know, trying to get your 360 just to play like imports, and then because a lot of people didn't realize that um, supposedly everything was supposed to be backwards compat, not backwards compat, but uh, region free. But Japan locked their games down. They locked a lot of their games down. Um, and that man, and that was kind of horrible. Cause, like I think I got, I don't know, it was Autodimus, Atoma, whatever the game is. It's like Brodius with the girls flying around and shit. And there's excellent, and then there's the first one, it's like G or something like that. And I remember I got that, and then, uh, I forgot what game I got, and I couldn't play it. Like I sat on those games for years, like at least two, yeah, two years, because I got my, uh, I got my Xbox in 2008. You know, yeah, that much money, man. <laughs> And uh, I remember when we got it, you know, I did the whole try to do the DVD mod. I didn't get the the proper, some kind of uh, board because my board was compatible and I was supposed to be able to, you know, I had the jumper cables. Yeah, literally jumper cables. Look up the whole process if they still have it around on how to the mod the DVD. It is crazy, man. And so I never got around to do it because I never got that. Uh, card to install on my computer. Like I ordered it, and the company never sent it, and I got my money back. So I just left it alone. And said, no, so I can, you know, stick to the American games, which is fine. I still have people in my game. And then, uh, you know, I was in my piracy mode. Uh, what's uh, the game came out? Um, it was like. This guy was offering his services to JTAG your system. And for like $60, you could have your system JTAG. And I was like, what the heck is a JTAG? And I was like, well, you know, it basically turns your system into a, you know, you know, like the most awesome system in the world. Okay, you can't go online. And at the time I was like, well, going online, I don't really, you know, I don't really play online anymore. Uh, the only games I've been playing on the 360 was uh, Ridge Racer, which that is actually the experience in itself. If you ever played the 360, yeah, uh, I played. Um, I think I played like the Street Fighter. 
in this is another game they had that was pretty cool um not street fight uh uh what's the game um it's called war tech in america but it's called single no ronde in japan and um oddly enough man those guys over there were really serious about some single no ronde and I actually was beating up a lot of people over there. And on my account, which I can't access anymore, I had a lot of friends too. Which is big, like, I beat a lot of people, man. There were a lot of Japanese players, man. Like, if you play streaming, like, at uh, 3 in the morning, you're playing people who are up 12 hours, 13 hours ahead of you. And I remember I used to be part of a group in the UK. For Ridge Racer, man, yeah, I was part of a group that's crazy in it. And on Ridge Racer 6, uh, what they would do, so it was it was kind of like Team Japan versus Team uh, England, UK, whatever. It was UK because everybody I played with was, you know, up, you know, they had the English or, you know, British accents or whatever. And I was like the only American, I was the only American in that group, man. And I remember the first few times, I couldn't even keep up. And then after a while, I practiced and I got better, I got better. And I came back because I, I worked at night, so I mostly was up at night. That's why I kind of played at night. And I remember finally, you know, showing that I had some skills. And, you know, it would be like, this is what they would do. So in Japan, they would get a group. And how they would mess you up is they would lock you in and and get one of their guys to be in the front while everybody else blocks in the other races. And I'm telling you, you had to get really good to get around that block. Because they would block you. And like everybody, you know, you would just hear everybody saying like, man, how we gonna even win? How we gonna even win? You know what I'm saying? And, uh, one guy figured it out. It was like one guy would just have to pull out the head of the pack. So they they figured out a way to get you ahead of the pack. And they actually won a, like quite a few races, but the majority of the time we would lose. Like we would, it, it, it was awful, man. Um, how they would work together for their team, you know, for their group to win, man. But it was amazing just to see, like in the game, how they would just as soon as the race starts, they go. Nobody can get ahead and they'll let that their one guy get ahead. The only way you can really get in there is to be like right up to that guy. And it was fun man, like man, just to see that type of camaraderie and stuff and I actually got to be on the front, like neck and neck with the guy who kept the front. And you know you had that drip mechanic and then you had like the um the um we call it when you get behind the car and uh, slipstream and then you would just go at it and like they'll let you know when, when you beat them how, how they would come back like that next game and just be like they'll get even more brutal I'm not saying, I'm not, it's not even racial thing it's just a plain game but they did you know in that same little group the guys in the UK I would play with them to like you know I think so I moved back to Raleigh and I started working in early in the morning like I couldn't I had to be to work at like Six, seven in the morning. I didn't really have time to watch stream like that. And by then, like, I forgot why I couldn't uh, live stream, not live stream, uh, play at night or something. It was, it was something crazy. So, unfortunately, I never got back into that. But yeah, I was like that. <laughs> I was the only one to play with the other day. I would be on the chat, and everybody, you know, like, hello, hello, hey. BBZ XA and it's talking like, yo, what's up, man? I come to play and I'll be like, yeah, I come to play, man. I can't do that. But it was fun, man. Just, just, you know, playing with those guys, man. You know, I don't remember their names or anything like that. I was like, 2008. Maybe something like 2021 now. You know what I'm saying? It's like, my son is, it's like 13 years ago. So I don't remember. Much, but yeah, it was fun. But like I said, we didn't, we didn't win. We, 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 we didn't win a lot, man. I mean, if you say out of every 10 races, we probably won. You know? 
he probably won like three. Because they every time you win, they come back with more bigger, more force against you, man. They they make it tough, but when they get their when they make their block, if you're not in the front, it's over. Like you just you just never you just never could win. I decided to get to stage four. I, I haven't beaten this game yet, you know, so you know, I'm still learning this game. So. I just want to give you like a quick play through this game. This is actually a good game. Okay, let's see. I'm right into the wall. All right. Let's continue. All right. Oh, uh, should I play Siberia? Like, Alright, I bought that game. Um I think Delta was a little overhyped. I don't really get it, that whole buzz thing. I hate it. Like it just it's one of those mechanics that take away from the game, like because you gotta concentrate on buzzing to get points and then there's like secret bosses that you can get to. Uh, if you uh buzz right now. Is, is one of those things. It was like a challenge thing or something. And these ships are like flying into the wall. They're not even flying in the You have to understand, I haven't gotten this far yet, so. <laughs> yes, you know, we'll see. Ah, oh, I missed that. This game is a little tough, man. Interesting. I'll play a little bit more. You like to call it protective wall. Yeah. Mr. Dance is one of those games you should get. Like, I think it's kind of cheap at the store. It's, it's, it's worth its money. There's a lot of good stuff here. It's not, I know, it's not the main brand shooters, you know, but it doesn't have that. The, the graphics is what I like in this game. Like, I don't like that, like, you know, newer graphics. Shiny. You know, I love the kind of old, pretty look. And this game does do that pretty good as far as what it, you know, the way it looks. And it looks like. I think you'll be pleased if you buy this. Be a chump for this. And so far, this stage is really hard. <laughs> right, concentrate a little bit. I want to kind of beat this. Let's see how far I go. Okay, I can't get there. I missed the mission. This is a little tough because I don't think you can climb to the wall, can you? Oh, oh, you can. I don't think you can. I can get up just skirt to the side. No. Oh, I got to the tank. This game's got some pretty good music. Ooh, I like that game. That's a pretty cool looking thing. Is he flying or is he flying? This must be a new boss. Okay, he went away. Okay. Oh ho 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 ho! I should kill him. Oh! So it's not a tank. I don't think he's in a tank. Okay, all right, new game. This is new game too. For chumps, for chumps. Come on, come on, come on. My round continues. Okay. So what do we want to play next real quick? Should we play the game I don't want to play? So there we are. Let's see. We'll save Darius for another day. I don't want to play Darius today. I don't want to play Siberia. Why do I want to play Siberia? Because I have not played it like that. Because, man, if I start playing the less day, it's over. <laughs> 
Like Aleste is just gonna Aleste is gonna take over my life, man. I can play Aleste all day. That's why I try not to play it too much. And there it is in the cotton case, man. <laughs> it's in the cotton case. <sighs> yep. In the cotton case. Now I think I got the DLC for this game. I think I do. I think I, think I did. You get to play with uh, one of the jets from that side game. Hmm. And I feel like door dashing some, some hardies this morning. I have it due to my diabetes. I can't, I don't think I can eat that. I don't know. Ugh. This is kind of a cheat day for me, but I ain't really eat nothing bad. I mostly ate Stouffer's TV dinners, which are, you know, one of the better TV dinners because with the gas shortage down here in the South, you can't exactly just run out to the store. This is, you know, this is how stupid America is right now. Okay. So we got Siberia on deck. And this is going to be my last playthrough for the morning. And then the brother man is going to sleep because it's the weekend. Oh, it's the weekend. Alright, so. Now y'all tired of looking at that screen. We're going to move on out of there. Get the home button. It's like sometimes my headphones be working on this little cheap monitor. And I can't really call this a cheap monitor just because of the fact that, you know, it does what it does. Now I'm only getting sound out of one ear. Ah, I hate this thing. Okay. For some reason, it does not like my headphones. And that's crazy. Unless I just ain't got but one ear. One ear now. Okay. Yes, I fear we are. Let me see if there's any updates for this game. Some options. You are using the latest version of the software. Okay. All right. I'm trying to get my headphones back because if not, I'm going to have to get another pair of headphones. Everything should have Bluetooth. My little buds would be nice right now. Oh, well. Hang on, we're... I just need my headphones so I don't pick up on that sound. You know, anytime you buy something cheap, they do stuff on purpose. Let's put the headphone jack on the back of the monitor, but under that under knee style. Oh, that's so annoying. That's like the worst thing that you can do. Well, let's just put everything under. You gotta come on, people. But if you get like a nice, expensive TV, everything's like or TV monitor, everything's like nice and ready. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know, and there it is. She screamed wrong hole. Huh. It's the wrong hole. How do you know it's the right one? We'll know in a minute. And it could be the cord. I'll have to test my headphones out. That uh, it's probably the cord. Alright. Last game. Of course it can't be played. It's on a cartridge, you nim screw. That's when you have like three switches in the house, man. You know. 
this is where it's at. <sighs> Roading. That's another thing, man. This game takes so long to load, man. Golly. It's probably been the reason why I never played it that much. Now, Saveriar, the first Saveriar, and it's like a, it's like 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 three or four Saveriars, and then Saveria to uh, two to Will to Fabricate. That was like on Dreamcast, PS2, Xbox, and I think there's an Xbox 360 port. You know, but the first Saveriar and like Saveriar, it's like another one after that. They're all like PS2. I think it's like very are complete. One of those is rare. I, I have it. I know I have it because I bought it. I just gotta go back in the storage and look through the boxes to see where it is. But Delta is pretty good. I just I don't know, man. It's like a hidden boss on here. You gotta get like a certain score or something. You know. But it's not like oh you know oh my goodness I'm 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 not gonna you know. Like, if you didn't buy this, you can still get this game for like $20, $20, $24. It's not a, it's not a shump that you have to really go out and get. It's, it's, because it's just not, I, I don't like the buzzing thing. Alright, so, we're just checking everything, and, you know. But it does have a top tape mode. Okay. Cool. Keep that in mind when I'm playing. Okay. play now. And I think I like I said I know I got a DLC on this game. Yep. Yeah, revision. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we played the Delta. I guess we'll play like the Delta. Oh. Yeah, I kind of rag on this game, I know. But I own it though, because I'm a collector. And it's a chunk. I gotta get to see why I hate this game. I mean, you gotta concentrate on buzzing the bullets so you can level up. And I feel like that takes away from the enjoyment of the game. You know, but I guess everybody has to have some type of unique mechanic. Um, if you ever play like, uh... Seems like, uh... Uh, what's the game that's similar to this? Uh, Shigigami uh, Shigen no Shiro or Castle Shigigami. That's a kind of similar deep buzz you get like times 8 or times 16 or something like that. So. You know, I always feel like I'm not doing good on this game, so. We'll see. I want to fight. I want to fight the secret boss. It's supposed to be like a secret boss in this game or something. So, 
That's a decent idea mechanic, but and it's just one of those things you just go, man. It's just that level of concentration that you gotta deal with. You know. I mean there's a bit of precision there, you know what I'm saying too, because you like, okay. If you can survive, you know what I'm saying? This is not my favorite strength in the genre. Put it that way. It is better, it is. You know, it's a lot more games that bring just that. If I want to take this game up and go and just have some fun, I can do it. This game, it does require some skill. You gotta have some skill, because, you know, the idea is to level up, buzz in, and not die. You know. And the other thing I don't like is the ship design on this game is so ugly. <laughs> and the more you buzz, the more your ship changes in design. So just keep that in mind too. So kind of do want to kind of buzz as much as you can, so that you can like you know increase your shots. You know, kind of reminds you of like radiant. With that, I don't know if y'all know that Radiant had like, these like crazy, insane secrets. Uh, you know, where you had to like, you know, you shoot like five reds. Uh, you know, so Radiant kind of leveled up like an RPG. You, know? you had to know how to like go through the game and you know, kill certain things and you know. Okay, we'll try this first. And so a perfect example of that, like if you ever played like Radio and you understood the level up mechanic, watch a video of like somebody who's really good at the game and you'll ah. to me. And you'll see what I mean. I'm the guy who gets a bomb on this game. You need to tell me I have bombs? Yeah, uh, radio is like that, right? You basically leveled up based on... Well, what's the point of using bombs when I'm trying to level up? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give this game a chance, man. No, I'm sorry. No, I, I know, I know. I'm dragging hard on this thing. But it's the truth though. Like, Radiant had that, you know, shoot three red, shoot two blue, one yellow, and you got the secret, and, you know. I mean, there's different ways that you can play that game. Yeah. 
but at least Radiant, if you learn the pattern and you watch like certain players, you can see them get into level 33 and like, you know, before you even get like halfway through. Because in the arcade, you only, you, there are only certain stages you can go to. You know, it wasn't all, like if you play the home version, story mode basically takes you a stop with uh, 2A and 4A and you play through the whole game where if you play the arcade you, you know you had that split so but i mean this game i mean what do you do you fire a bomb or do you want to buzz you know what i'm saying nah. I mean, you can see if people are level 132 or something like that at 99, I don't know. This is probably the highest I've gotten is level 79. There's supposed to be like a secret stage on here, so... I don't think I've gotten to it, so... I think you have to be a certain level or something. I think. I'm, I'm not 100 sure. I know Studio Mug can still play through this a while ago. Let's see what level I'm at. But I mean, visually it's interesting. Of course. See what happens when you get to 99. I don't know if I'm making a mistake. I'm at 88 right now. Photon IU. Who's that? Granddaddy IU. That's what you always do right there. Granddaddy IU, something new. Ah, oh, I hit the wrong button. Short game, man. You know, you probably could one CC it if you try hard enough. DLC. And was DLC worth it? No, I don't think you should have to pay for this. I believe you do have to pay for this. That's, this is definitely have been free, I mean. But I mean, for what it's worth, the game's only, like I said, brand new, like 20, I think I paid like twenty four ninety nine or something like that. Okay, what in the world? <laughs> Why is he shooting? Ow. Huh. 
Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. I was playing like all the glitz and glamour on it, really. Because it's a show. And it's just, to me, I, I just never, you know, it is never impressed me though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, let's go see the desert. Tells you what level you are. Okay. Level up. Level up. Imagine being a pilot and hearing that all day. Shut up. I feel like I should be higher and stuff. Oh, 
Okay, are you down in my shield? Oh, wow. Oh, wow.
keep thinking there's something else I gotta do in this game. It's gotta be. I want to see, I want to really get into it and see how if there's anything I need to do to get to this secret stage. It's a secret stage in this game, I know it is. I, I, and I could be wrong, but I've heard of it. You know? Shot. 
Let's see what we do. We'll do this again so we can see how far we go.
actual experience of playing this game for us. on the master system, you know, the Neo, the, um, not, the, uh, PC, PC engine version, well, PC engine version had to be split up until they made it on one part or something like that. PC engine version was my, I mean, not turbo graphics, R-Type was one of my favorite games, you know, but you can't do the, uh, continue code on the, uh, it doesn't work on the, uh, uh, on the um, on the, the, the uh, uh, PC engine thing, it doesn't work because you had to have a controller with something. And then when you try to hit the A button, it's just gonna make you go back to that screen to save your stuff. You know? So I don't know. Maybe one day I'll sit down and really get back into it. You have, in real life, how would that even work? Like, you buzzing around, getting hit by bullets with that. I mean, how would that work? <laughs> Alright, y'all. The game is okay. Like I said, it's just one of those games where you just... I just feel like I'm not getting it. And, you know, I'll probably have to watch some uh, tutorials on that or something and, you know see why I'm not getting it and you know maybe maybe no. ah, I'm, one more one more this is a game I really need to get good at but I haven't gotten good at it yet oh, downloading I never seen it do downloading Did they had something new to the game I, I don't know, maybe I don't pay attention when this game starts up. You know. No, there's no updates. This game has a banging soundtrack. And 
nice tate emoji. <laughs> the stream i appreciate it for those that watch it afterwards i appreciate it as well again please like subscribe and share you know what i'm saying this is uh super robot ed i'll have some news today hopefully on transformers i'll see what's out there uh but yeah until then everybody you know just hang tight just enjoy life and try to be you know just try to be the best person you can be all right and we'll see you soon who knows what's on the streaming deck yet, so we'll see if we can get that PS3 uh, streaming uh, down pat. So, just want to say peace out to everybody, and have a nice morning. See you later on.